Hey guys, my name is Sasha and today I'll be helping you to find your sexual orientation. Listen, if you're struggling with your sexual orientation, especially if you're a teenager, you are not alone. A lot of the time, trying to explore your sexual identity can be challenging and stressful and especially in a lot of homophobic countries, very unpopular and dangerous. Maybe that's why a lot of straight people decide to actually skip this step and just go straight into the homophobia phase where they deny everything possible because it's a lot easier to make a sign at the gay pride, say no to sodomy, instead of actually trying to explore your sexuality. For some people, defining sexuality can be as simple as saying, hey, I like guys, or hey, I like girls. For other people, it can be a lot more complicated than that. Especially if you are a teenager, uh, sexual orientation can make everything really confusing because you might you think you like a guy, but you're like, wait, no, I'm supposed to be with girls, and also I do like girls, and like everyone around me likes girls, so what the hell is happening? What am I supposed to do? For those people who are really struggling to define their sexuality, there is a great, great tool called the Kinsey Scale. So the Kinsey Scale is pretty straightforward. It asks you a few questions which you can definitely have an answer to. Kinsey Scale measures you on the heterosexual to homosexual spectrum. Zero being completely heterosexual, six being completely homosexual. So why is it important to actually identify your sexuality? Well, for one thing, you don't want to be in the homophobic country, come out to everyone as gay or lesbian, and then it turns out that you're actually straight and you want to go out with the person of the opposite sex. That is incredibly, incredibly awkward. The other benefit to this is that for a lot of teenagers, it is so much less confusing. I feel like so much of my anxiety and depression and general stressfulness in life could have been avoided if only I could define my sexual orientation. And here's the thing, it doesn't have to be 100% accurate. As long as you know that you are not completely straight or not completely gay or completely gay or straight, you can make your own decisions. I feel like the Kinsey scale is great. It's a great tool. It has been used in multiple countries, multiple times, has proven to generally work. Uh, I will link you to a website, idrlabs.com. Uh, it will be down in the description. They have the Kinsey scale test in multiple languages, English, uh, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, French, Japanese, Polish, whatever you want to, whatever language you want to do it in, they have it. So I really recommend doing it if you are confused with your sexuality. So I decided to make this video because recently there has been a very interesting trend where more and more people define themselves as the LGB community, so lesbian, gay, or bisexual. For example, in 2015, in the UK, in England, 1.7% um, uh, identify themselves as lesbian, gay, or bisexual. Next year, in 2016, it was 2%, which is quite big. I mean, it's a more than a 10% increase in those people who identify themselves as gay or bisexuals or lesbians. And that is why I feel like it is so important to know what sexual identity you are currently. Because here's the thing, you change your sexual identity as you go in life. You know, maybe five years ago you thought you were straight and you were going out with girls and everything was fine. Now you feel like you like guys and you're curious about guys and you wanna go out with guys and there is nothing wrong with that. It settles down more when you're an adult but especially when you're young, you can have different thoughts and different fantasies about different people of different genders. My personal opinion, as long as it's safe and legal to do so, experiment with whoever you like, do whatever you want, try and figure it out. Those people who shut themselves down, not figuring out their sexual identity, are the people who go out to the pride with hate signs and protest against the homosexuality simply because they do not understand it and they don't know what gay people are about. Don't be one of those people. You know, on this channel, I really encourage you to educate yourself. 
So that's exactly what you should do. Go to that website, educate yourself, learn about yourself more. And once you know, you can explore, come out to other people, enjoy your romantic and sexual life to your full potential. That is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and especially subscribe because I'm going to be making a lot of gay stuff on this channel and I feel like it will be really fun and educational for you to watch. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.